The following video contains sample clips from Solving X and Y Equations, Part 2. We pick a new value for X, 2. We place X in the equation by 2. Multiply it by 2. Add 1. And our result will be the value 5. Our ordered pair 2 and then moving seven units in the positive y direction to represent y. We mark that point. Nicely done. The vertical movement that locates the ordered pair 3-7 is 7. Drawing a line through the points every point on the line represents an ordered pair xy that makes the equation y equals 2x plus 1 a true statement. Nicely done. The ordered pair negative 2, 3 completes the table. We first move two units in the negative x direction to represent a negative 2 for x. Then we move 7 units in the positive y direction to represent 7 for y. And we mark that point. That point represents the ordered pair at negative 2, 7 because the point is located by the ordered pair negative 2, 7. By drawing a line through the points, Every point on the line represents an ordered pair, xy, that makes y equals a negative 2x plus 3, a true statement. Very nice. The line represents the solutions to the equation y equals negative 2x plus 3. If at a different point in time, x should have the value x sub 2, the y that is related to that x value at that point in time is the number value from our equation. And the ordered pair that expresses that relationship is x sub 2. The y is the number value from our equation. You're right. The correct symbol to complete the following table is answer choice b, the square. Create graphs that are called horizontal lines. Horizontal lines do not tilt up or down. Every point on the line is the same distance away from the X number line. Very nice. The correct ordered pair to complete the following table is answer choice A, the ordered pair 5, 4. You see that the equation creates a graph that is a vertical line. The vertical line is straight up and down. It does not tilt to the left or right. And every point on the vertical line is the same distance away from the y number line. The x and y equation we want to graph. When we click on the graph icon, we receive our graph on the calculator, just as we did by hand. When we increase it to full screen view, we have a better view of our graph. We also have created a table when we create our graph automatically on the calculator. Some of these values we calculated by hand. When we look at the graph again in full screen view and we go to analysis and use our trace function, we can trace along the graph and we see that there are many ordered pairs that make our equation 
a true statement. Nicely done. You must use your rules to change the form of the equation to have y all alone before you can use the calculator to graph the equation. Solving X and Y Equations, Part 2